I'm Lieutenant Commander Adam Parkinson, the Executive Officer of the USS Delaware. I'm from uh, Fort Plain, New York. I uh, certify the training and the readiness of the ship uh, leading up to deployment. I want to welcome you all to the Delaware today. Uh, we're going to give you a tour of the boat, let you meet some of the crew, and I hope you enjoy the tour. I'm Brandon Laza from USS Delaware. I was born and raised in Lake Jackson, Texas, Liberty Town, outside of Houston. The torpedo room is where we uh, store and uh, launch weapons whenever the situation arises. We can hold uh, excess of 10 torpedoes, we have four torpedo tubes, we can launch missiles from here. Anything that requires weapons on board a submarine comes from the torpedo room. So I'm STS-3 Hagelberg. I'm from Massachusetts and this is a submarine's birthing. So here we have the uh, six pack, as we like to call it, because you have six racks, and we fit six people in here. It's uh, very tight. It's very tight to sleep in them, because uh, you don't have a lot of room to uh, roll around or readjust yourself. Some people like to put uh, Velcro on the inside, so they can put Velcro on the back of their phone, and watch movies like that. A rack is kind of like your own, the only real personal space you get on a submarine, so it can be pretty nice to just chill out in the rack. And my name's uh, Nick Mahalik. I'm the nav here on the Delaware. Uh, Cribbage is one of the games we play when we got uh, time to relax here on Cruise Mess. Uh, we also have exercise equipment in the engine room that guys will uh, use to work out when they're off watch. I'm Culinary Specialist Chief Monty McCormick, and uh, I'm the leading Culinary Specialist on board uh, USS Delaware. Um, we serve about 130 meals per day. And today, you guys are here with us on Burger Day, also known as Field Day, so we have chocolate chip cookies for today. We've already been eating them, so. That's how you know they're good. Submarines have the best food in the Navy. Don't let anyone tell you anything otherwise. Uh, I'm Daniel Maggard. I'm a USS Delaware member of Auxiliary Division. I'm currently in the machine room. This is where we control atmosphere equipment. Uh, auxiliary division is mostly responsible for controlling atmospheres. Uh, we run the diesel generator, we're responsible for high pressure air systems, and uh, we oversee the damage control program on the, the boat. Hello, I'm uh, Lieutenant Stephen Walsh. I'm from South Rome, Massachusetts. I went to the Naval Academy. Uh, on board, I'm the assistant weapons officer. Um, I work with fire control, sonar, and torpedo divisions. And then additionally, I'm the strike officer. My favorite part about being on board is working with some amazing teams, um, building up our ability to keep the ship safe and do, get our missions done. Um, thank you, enjoy your tour. So welcome to the medical space, where this is pretty much all I get to uh, actually see patients uh, when they come in for sick call or have any um, significant um, medical issues going on or if they want to just come and talk. This is their, pretty much their seat that they, they sit down and they, uh, they come and talk to me. But if we have an um, uh, emergency on board, I would uh, use the emergency medical assistance team, which, could, which is comprised of sailors from other rates who qualify and help me provide um, uh, medical care. Uh, for anyone, for any injured personnel on board while we're underway. Hello, my name is Senior Chief Travis Grammer. I am the Chief of the Boat for USS Delaware, also known as the Cobb. This tour is just a snapshot of USS Delaware and of our crew. As the Chief of the Boat, I am responsible for all things to include the morale, welfare, qualifications, awards, and watch bills for the entire crew. And I work alongside the Executive Officer and report directly to the Captain. I hope you've enjoyed meeting some of the crew of the Navy's finest sailors here on board USS Delaware. And as you move along the pier, you'll be greeted with a message from our commanding officer, Commander Matthew Horton.